In this video I will share with you 7 things you need to own a Siberian Husky in a small apartment. If this video helps you, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into the video. Number 1, Rules You will need ground rules around your house. Think of 1-3 to three areas of your house you don't want your husky to access and always command your dog to get out of those areas, block them off if you can. Restrict access to your bed, couch, and any other spaces that you would consider your territory. Simple ground rules and house restrictions will help your husky to learn discipline and house training. Number 2, Time Owning a Siberian Husky in general requires a lot of time and supervision especially when they are puppies and especially while living in an apartment. Whenever you allow your puppy to roam your house you should have them on a leash and supervise them to ensure they aren't going into areas that you want restricted. You will also need to be watching out for anything they try to grab or eat. As puppies Siberian Huskies will get into anything and chew on anything that interests them. You will need to correct this behavior and reward your Husky when they drop something you don't want them to have. As puppies, Siberian Huskies will be needing to use the bathroom every two hours. With that being said you will need to take your Husky to their potty spot every two hours. My Husky doesn't have all of his shots yet and it's risky to walk him so, he uses the bathroom outside on our patio. When it's time for your dog to sleep you will want to take them out two more times, before they go to sleep for the night. Generally speaking you will be needing to spend almost the whole day with your husky, unless you have other people who can help watch him or her. If you have to work full time it is highly recommend you get a dog sitter. Hire a professional dog sitter if you can, but if you're on a budget or something you can get a family member or friend to watch your dog. Just be sure to give them the rundown on your husky and make sure they know how to handle a dog correctly. Number 3, Patience Siberian Huskies are known to be dramatic, highly energetic, and mischievous. As puppies you will want to make sure you are potty training your Husky, be sure to research on how to look for signs that your dog needs to use the bathroom. Even while potty trained Husky puppies are much like toddlers and young kids, they will have a potty accident every now and then. Whether it's poop or pee. Siberian Huskies aren't really supposed to be in small apartments in the first place, but with proper training and good owners they can be tolerable and make really great house pets. Your puppy will also try to tear up your carpet or any furniture which is why it is extremely important to supervise them. These traits and tedious moments your Husky has will likely irritate you at times but it is important to stay calm and understanding. When your husky does something wrong it is never their fault, it is your fault for not supervising correctly or not training them enough. Huskies are not humans and they make different mistakes than humans do. Never yell or hit your dog if they do something that angers you, keep calm and tell them in a low tone no. When they stop remember to reward them and give high praise. Hitting your dog will tell them that you're in charge however, this can cause your dog to have behavioral problems and be combative towards other people or dogs. Yelling at your dog will have no effect, it will only increase their energy or cause them to be stressed. Number 4, Daily Schedule You should have a schedule for your husky especially as puppies. Feed them three times a day, breakfast, lunch and dinner. When giving them these meals be sure to do it at the same time every day. Everyone's schedule will look different for their dogs, create a schedule that works for both you and your husky. I will be making a video on my husky's daily schedule soon, be on the lookout. Number 5, A Large Crate or Closed Off Resting Area A lot of people have different opinions on crates and their usage with dogs, some people don't like crates because they see it as little prison for their dogs. Crates can be a very calm space that your dog will love. With proper crate training and a large crate your husky will be choosing to go in their crate themselves. In an apartment you will definitely need a large crate for your husky to rest in and to stay in while you can't be there to supervise them. They can stay in their crate for up to 2 hours but shouldn't be in there for any time longer unless it's overnight. With proper training as your husky gets older he or she may not even need the crate anymore. As a puppy it is definitely necessary until they are fully house trained. 
If you have an area that you can block off and give them their own little dog room you can do that too, it doesn't really have to be a crate. They just need their own room to rest in. It could be a laundry room, a large walk-in closet, a spare bedroom, anything as long as it's big enough and they can breathe. Number 6, Training If you have the money it is highly recommend you hire a professional dog trainer with good reviews. If not YouTube has all the answers you need to train your dog yourself. You will just need to be watching a ton of videos and researching a lot. First teach your dog the basic commands like sit, stay, lay down, or stand up. Once your husky gets good with those commands you can start teaching him more advanced stuff. Hand feed your dog for the first 6 months you have them, this will make them understand that you are the boss and you are in control of their food. Hand feeding helps get rid of food aggression or resource guarding. If you live with other people in your house get them to hand feed your dog for some meals as well. This will help your dog know its owners. Make your dog work for everything you give them. Make them sit and stay before you give them a toy, food, treats, or anything that they really like. Consistency, schedules and patience are key to training your Siberian Husky. Number 7, Toys Something that will help your dog a lot with biting and chewing random things is toys. If they have fun toys to play with they are likely to chew on those instead of objects around your house or you. This also helps them get a lot of exercise around your small apartment, find the longest stretch of room you have in your apartment and play fetch with them or make them chase you or a toy. That about wraps this video up, if this video helped your or you enjoyed it please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.